Good morning to everyone. I'm Yi Bushpauli, Department of English, Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women. And in this video, we are going to talk about Aristotle. And we already know that Aristotle, the one who lived during the period of 384 BC to and 322 BC. And uh, Ayn Whitehead once says that uh, uh, the safest general characterizations of the European philosophical tradition is that uh, it is consists of series of footnotes to Plato. At the same time, Ayn Kostler once said that uh, science up to the Renaissance consisted in a series of footnotes to Aristotle. And before we going to talk about Aristotle and we came to know that uh, the 11 which is the most uh, uh, important 11 which is which was founded by Aristotle that is uh, courage, temperance, liberality, magnificence, magnanimity and pride, patience, truthfulness, witness and friendliness, uh, the last modesty. And uh, the Plato idealist once says that the world is a kind of uh, reflection. At the same time, the Aristotle who says that, who proves he is a realist, uh, who says that uh, we live in the real physical world. So, the Aristotle studies shape not uh, just philosophy but uh, science from late antiquity to early modern era and also he wrote about logic metaphysics philosophy uh, of science and ethics political theory and empirical biology and physics and uh, uh, Aristotle science is usually divided into three types uh, that is theoretical science, practical science and last one productive science. And if you go for theoretical science, theoretical uh, science uh, seeks knowledge for the own shakes and also uh, uh, ma mathematics and uh, metaphysics and physics. He discussed these following topics in this physics uh, like uh, motions, time, place, thought about infinity and university etc. And uh, the practical science the next one is, uh, it is uh, uh, it is nothing but it is a concerned, uh, uh, concerns contact and the goodness in action and both individual and the society and also uh, politics, ethics under this branches. And uh, the say, uh, next kind the productive science uh, which is uh, aims at the creations of beautiful or useful objects and also uh, uh, shipbuilding, agriculture and medicine and music, theater and dance comes under these uh, types. And if you go for uh, and these uh, three kinds, uh, it has some characterizations like if, if you go for theoretical science, uh, in that we can find of physics and generations and corruptions on the heavens, metaphysics on the soul like that. Practical science uh, has uh, um, neo machine ethics and Edinian ethics and great ethics politics. And uh, Aristotle was the first philosopher to use a logic systematically, we already know that. Generally, uh, um, uh, according to Aristotle, Aristotle, deduction is a valid and acceptable argument because deduction logic is an excellent form of reasoning and because its consequences don't need proof. And if your premises are correct, your result has to be correct according to Aristotle. For that, he gave an excellent example that uh, uh, the famous example we come across in our life uh, like uh, uh, in the premises he says that all men are mortal and also he says that Socrates is a man. But in the conclusion we came to know that Socrates is also mortal. So Aristotle used an inductive deductive method for scientific inquiry and also he uses inductions uh, from observation to infer uh, uh, is you know the infer general principles and uh, deduction from those principles to check the against the further observations and also Aristotle demonstrate his scientific method in the posterior analytics and uh, uh, if you go for induction uh, method, general proofs can be known by the induction tools, you know, induction, but uh, induction does not give scientific information directly, but uh, induction is necessary uh, for, uh, for providing the primary premises. And also, if you go for deductive method, and philosophers main aim to the demonstrate general truths and uh, discovers their causes, uh, it is not about the phenomena, it is about its... Uh, uh, you know, uh, classes. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video and next video we will continue. Thank you so much.